It may be fall here in Athens, Georgia, but the Georgia women's basketball team is just heating up. UGA swiftly took down BYU 81 to 51, but that's not what have been expected from the opening minutes. Pick up the energy. We have a bad habit of coming out and let them hitting us first. I think we just try to settle in. We try to figure out, try to get a feel for the uh, for the game. So once we finally got that, things started clicking for everybody. We started scoring, and that's kind of when everything started picking up. BYU controlled the pace, especially in the first half of the game. But 24 turnovers led UGA to maintain their lead all the way until the end of the game. So we talked more about defensively how they had scored the last couple of times because it was things we had prepped about in practice and just reminded them, hey, we're doing a great job on the first line of help. Remember, they do a really good job about passing the ball across the lane. We need to have that second line of help. And, uh, you know, once we kind of adjusted and made those adjustments. While head coach Joni Taylor is taking some time off after becoming a mom, assistant coach Karen Lang said Taylor is far from silent, adding in her wisdom and support from the bench. When we're in a huddle and a timeout, we're speaking or I'm speaking, and then she's just adding something at the end. Um, so, you know, I, I, it's, it's worked so far for her, and it's been fine for us so far. So. Um, we'll see how that continues. Reporting from Athens, Georgia for Swish Appeal, I'm Celia Palermo. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe on YouTube for the latest in women's basketball.